So today we're going to start with a golden seven foldable. These are the seven most frequently used fractions, decimals, and percents. I'm starting with a piece of paper that I've cut from a regular piece of paper, printer paper, and I've cut it into approximately three and three quarter inch lengthwise. And I'm going to fold it in half hot dog style and then fold that in half this way fold in half again and then one more time and that's going to give us eight total sections so those eight sections one of them is going to be used for a title and the other seven are going to be used for the golden seven now you've got some creases here. You're going to cut on one side. You're going to cut these creases to that one big middle crease, the very first one that we made. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with here. Okay? This is the golden seven. And on the front, we're going to have the fraction. So one tenth as a fraction. Okay. Start with fifths. And cut each of those fifths into tenths, and then one of those is going to be one tenth. In money, here we are dealing with a dime, ten cents. Next most frequently used fraction would be one fourth. Cut it in half, cut it in half again. Here's one fourth. In money, this would be a quarter, which is a value of 25 cents. Next, most frequently used fraction is one third, and it's very similar to a piece symbol. And we do not have any monetary representation for one-third of a dollar. One-half. There are many different ways you could represent one-half in money. You could have two quarters. You could have a half dollar. You could have five dimes, so on and so forth. Okay? You could have 50 pennies. So the next fraction in our golden seven is two thirds. And again, the thirds is very similar to a piece symbol. And then we would shade in two of those. And we do not have any monetary representation of two-thirds. Three-fourths is our next fraction in our golden seven. And as a fractional part of a circle, that would be three out of four. So our monetary representation of that would be three quarters and that would give us a total of 75 percent and then our last golden seven is one and we would color in the whole entire circle and this would be a dollar bill on the inside 
on the left, we will have the decimals. form of these golden seven. So the decimal form of one tenth is, we could write it as 0 0.1 or 0.1. And again, in money, that is 10 cents. The decimal form of one fourth, the value is a quarter in money. So that would be 0 0.25 or you might also see it as 0.25 has a value of 25 cents. Next we've got one third. As a decimal this is one of those that repeats. So we write the bar over the number that repeats. So 0.3 repeating it would be equal to Point three repeating. Alright, next we've got one half as a decimal. You might see it as 0 0.5 or 0 0.5, and that has a monetary value of 50 cents. <coughs> Two thirds as a decimal is very similar to the one-third. However, it is the sixth that repeats. So we put a bar over the sixth to show that it's repeating. Three-fourths as a decimal has three out of four quarters, so that is 75 cents and we would write it that way. We could also write it 75 cents that way or you may see it without the zero. And then one is very simple. As a decimal it's one. Now to our last column. Percents. One tenth as a percent, ten percent. One fourth as a percent, it's twenty five percent. One third as a percent. There are a couple of ways you may see this. You may see it as thirty three and one third percent, or you may see it written as thirty three. 0.3 with the bar over this last three percent. You may see it one of those two ways. One half as a percent. If it has a value of 50 percent, 50 cents, it is a value of 50 percent. Two thirds. 0.6 repeating. It's going to be similar to this one third up here. So it could be 66 and Two thirds or sixty six point six bar over this last one percent. Three fourths as a percent has a value of seventy five cents, seventy five percent. And then this last one, 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 as a percent is. 100%. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for listening.